Hi everyone, in this short video I'm going to show you how to assign line weights to your plot styles um, so that when you print out your drawings have your different line weights. This is a drawing I've been working on which has various layers assigned to it which all have different colours as you can see um, and these colours are all supposed to represent different line weights. Um, if you printed this using the standard AutoCAD plot style um, it would look a little bit like this, which is difficult to understand and you don't want it in colour. Um, so in order to assign your own plot styles, what you want to do is type in plot style. This is a standard um, AutoCAD plot style. We would want to create our own, so you click new. Um, I've already started one here, which I've called Monochrome FIA, so I'm going to open that one. And this will bring up your table editor. I use um, a standard which I have here, which just shows you what line weight to assign to each colour. Um, and these are just the basic tone colours, and more often than not, that's all you need. But you can assign uh, different line weights to loads more colours if you find that you need to have a lot of differentiation between all your different lines. So that's what I use there. You can download that from the website. Um, so all you have to do is go through your colours, keep it as black. Most of this you can ignore, but the one thing you want to change is your line weight. So you just use that and select. And you just go through the different ones. You can see them changing now. And you can change styles and things like that, but we can look at that another time. Um, and once you're happy with that, you just you save as, because you're creating a new one, give it a name, and that will save it. And you can use that throughout all your different documents. It's not just for the, for the one drawing you're working on. Um, and you can even export them and save them um, and use them on other computers. So it's really good to create your own little library of plot styles so that you can use them again and again. So if we just click Save there, and then we'll just close that little box. So when you come to plot now, if we go plot, you can do this very quickly and just draw a window around your drawing. I'm going to go to edit page setup. So take it away from the standard and take it onto the new one that we've created. It's just asking me if I want to assign this to all layouts in the future. I'm just going to say yes. Um, so we selected our window. That's all fine. And then I'm just going to quickly PDF that. Just going to call it mono FIA. Okay. So here we are, we've got a nice little monochrome drawing. You can see the different thicknesses. I'll zoom in a touch. You can see how the different thicknesses have come out. And that's the kind of thing we want. One thing that's missing from this drawing is the fact that the site boundary isn't in colour. It's difficult to see clearly, particularly when it goes over other lines. So perhaps it'd be nice if we could make that a red site boundary just to, to make it a much clearer drawing. And this is really easy to do. Once again, we'll go back to our plot styles. Select the one we want to edit. Now that I've drawn that site boundary there in colour 240, just because it's, it's not red so you, you can't get confused with the two, it's best to keep them completely separate if you're wanting to have a red that prints out. So um, 240, and all you need to do on this one is change the colour to use object colour. Or you could select red um, or you know use any other colour, but for this I'm just going to use select object colour, save and close. And once again, if we print that now, we're going to just do last use settings, print the window. Okay, and now you can see 
you've got a nice bold site boundary, makes it much clearer. And it's a really good way of, of printing a drawing in black and white, but maybe having an accent colour that just really accentuates what you're trying to, the information you're trying to get across with your drawings. So that's just a very quick introduction to how to assign your line weights to your plot styles.